for all YouTube is SC and a place to be chill. Trying Mr. Andy back to give you guys another WWE 2K24 video. And today we finally got some news on my rise. The trailer just released, and let me tell you something. I have not been this excited for my rise in a while. Not saying that my rise stuff has been bad or my career, but I've always been a universe kind of guy. So now getting into actually playing the storyline, I'm actually kind of hyped for this thing. So before we get all into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that like button for more W2K24 videos right here on SC Studios. But now, without any further ado, we, they got the ringside report that came out, so we're gonna check out to see what this whole My Rise thing is about. So as usual, we are doing two different My Rises. We got the men's and the women's. So for the women's, it's named Unleashed. And in Unleashed, which is the women's My Rise, players step into the boots of a wrestler who founded the hottest promotion on the indie scene. But when given the opportunity to share her talents on the larger scale of WWE, she will unleash her full potential or hesitate to hold back. Then on the men's side, in Undisputed, that's what their storyline is called, in Undisputed, The Men's My Rise, Roman Reigns follows in the footsteps of The Rock and heads to Hollywood, vacating his championship and leaving big boots to fill for our protagonist. But the tribal chief won't stay gone for long and doesn't appreciate a pretender in his throne. So automatically, these storylines actually seem to be really cool. And the thing is, we did react to the first 24 minutes of the men's my rise i believe i'm still i think i'm going to react to the women's my rise as well but i want to do a breakdown of this thing first because they got the ring rust report out and to see different things that we can expect going into this so this is the my rise ring rust report here and it's it it talks about the new storylines that got a forger path with 80 rewards to be unlocked including arenas paybacks entrances my faction cards and championship belts between these two stories there are over six hours of dialogue with voiceover from the first time, for the first time, Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes, Dirty Dominic Mysterio, Mick Foley, Shotzi, and more. So, this right here automatically just looks like, in all, from what we see in the church, seems like a very awesome type of storyline. And I, I like the fact that they are incorporating the bigger names like Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes in here. So it's, like, it's kind of like the finish your story thing going on, but uh, kind of different. So now. For what I've seen so far in the in the first 24 minutes of my rise, this thing right here looks promising. It also states that this year, this means that players not only have a chance to rub elbows with brutal heels, self-obsessed Hollywood stars, and supernatural characters, but also have the opportunity to become these archetypes themselves, both in ring and behind the scenes. This already gives me the feeling like when I see Shotzi like floating, I think that was Shotzi, floating over in the in the Mirage trailer. I'm a big fan of the whole campy supernatural thing because I remember back in my career in W2K19 when Woken Matt Hardy like put you to the vortex and we was like in the wide compound. And it was it, it was just kind of like cool and dope how, how, how they did it. I, I like the whole supernatural kind of stuff. I like when you go outside the boxes. This is a wrestling game. So I'm just like all that kind of stuff is great to me. So when I get to see more of this, then yes, please bring that on the more so I ain't talking about 2K originals type of shit. I'm talking about like in the story within the form of the story. I like it this way. Also, just like last time, in addition, players will be able to see a different perceptive in a series of optional storylines that will feature new My Rise original character, Psycho Sally, allowing for a deeper dive into the themes of Unleashed. Or for anyone who finds a special space in their heart for Sally, the young purple haired uh, impressionable NXT recruit. This must be Psycho Sally right here. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, I, I, I like the you know little generic characters and stuff like that also. Now the same goes here for the Undisputed storyline, that's the men's storyline. And the, the same thing with uh, talk about Roman Reigns being voiceover larger than life. And then in the story, Roman follows the Rock's footsteps. We, we talked about that going to Hollywood. But one thing that gets me right here is this screenshot right here. Now I'm gonna bring it up for you guys. This screenshot of, it looks like a wedding. I've always wanted to do like a wedding in one of these uh, my, my career storylines or season mode storylines because we see the weddings all the time on the television. And I'm just like, well, man, I would like to do a wedding in one of the games. It looks like we actually get a chance to do one. So I'm actually kind of excited about that. And just like for Unleashed, when it comes to Undisputed, players will have a significant choice to make in their 
Undisputed Journey, including whether to align with SmackDown GM The Miz, which unlocks a section of stories where they can show off their more villainous side. This is a meaningful choice that leads to unique stories, cutscenes, alliances, and rewards where the players decide to work with The Miz or tell him he's not so awesome. It gives players who want to try both paths the ability to replay Undisputed with an awesome experience. One thing I like too, a lot of replayability. So you can do it as the heel, as the face, and things like that. So, and now one thing I like here also, we, we, uh, they got this little screenshot here of Xavier Woods. I'll bring it up for you guys just so you can see, because it's like an alternate character for Xavier Woods, and it states here. In addition to original arenas and championship belts, for the first time ever, players will be able to unlock my ride specific my faction cards from both Undisputed and Unleashed. In Undisputed, this includes cards for fan favorite characters such as Cole, Qu Cole Quinn is coming back, Chosen, Slade, Tra uh, Travis, and Xavier Woods' alter ego, Zero. I know it can be kind of cheesy and people may not like it, but I like unlocking like the little My Career or the, or the My Faction characters. I, I like doing that. So it looks like they're putting more emphasis into that also. I don't know if they're just My Faction cards or are they able to be playable on exhibition. I want to see why not because when they was going through the roster, you did see some hitting people that was so need to be unlocked. So they had to be the My Rise people also. And just like I kind of hope we had like another big surprise like we can unlock Gene Paul Levesque like they did last year. In my rise, I hope we get we can get to do like another character like that where you complete my rise or something like that. So we gotta see what happens. But right now, I'm actually kind of excited for it. The storyline looks very very interesting. I played through both last year. I just the only the only problem with me was that I didn't record anything. That was the biggest thing. But this right here looks really really good, really really uh, satisfactory, I should say. So I'm willing to play. So post your comments down below how you guys feel about my rise. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed my breakdown. Hit the subscribe button for more W2K 24 videos right here on NC Studios. Once again, it's NC the place to be. Chill time, Mr. Andy, and the Nerd Coalition is out.